Welcome back Woo! to episode 10 of the Low IQ, IQ podcast. podcast. Cheers to that. Pick Cheers. up your drink. You need to pick up your drink. So oh, you yeah. drank anything. Right. So right. What, uh, what have we got here today? So we got Today a, we've got a lemonade and... Uh, you've got lemonade and amaretto. Ro- Rojo. Uh, and I've got... What is it? You've got amaretto, like Di Serrano. Oh, Di Serrano and lemonade. And I've got Coke and Hennessy. And our guest today has also got... Some bloody Hennessy. Raw, unfiltered, room temperature. He's having Hennessy. it neat. <laughs> mm-hmm. That and is a posh thing. That neat. is a posh thing. And, and it goes with, the robe suits you well. I feel, yeah. I feel at home. This looks like my house. <laughs> yeah. I was going to yeah. <laughs> yeah. say, great. do you have like a fat wham fucking house? No, don't really. Well, say your okay, no, no, no. Wait, say, say his name. Oh yeah, who are you? Uh, I'm Rufus Rice. Woo. I make meaty TikToks. Mm. Yeah, he does. He uh, does. Wagwan. And, Wagwan. He, and he's, and he's rich. rich. You are. He looks rich. You, um, do, you look rich. You do I look rich? rich? Uh, apart from the shoes and the socks, you've got black shoes with the oh, black actually. socks are grim. By yeah, the I should I should have worn the white socks. I'm with you there. But, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Well, you were in a rush. I did. I was in a rush. Yeah. Very, very late notice. If he, so, if you didn't know, Spex Gonzalez was meant to be on this podcast, he and he has he is crippled with the shits at the moment, yeah. <laughs> which means he couldn't be here today. So I've been yeah. drafted in as a last minute replacement. Literally within a few hours, he got here. I, I have I have nothing on my schedule. No, mm. I, I messaged Rufus. I said, I, literally at about, I don't know what time, three hours ago. Yeah. I was like, Rufus, do you want to pop in? I thought you were London based. Yeah. So I said, do you want to pop in for a pod at half three? He goes, fuck it. Yeah. And then he pops in. And it, how long did it take you get to get here? Hour and a half or two hours? Hour and a half, hour and a half. From yeah, Brighton, by the way. Yeah, train him. Or helicopter or private jet. <laughs> my helicopter's busy. <laughs> my heli- do you have a helicopter? I wish I did. That do you, would be do you have, okay, what is like the most mental shit you've got then? That like a... I, here's, here's the thing, my, my, my family are not who, what, what you're thinking. They, they fucking must are. Be. They listen to your voice. Yeah, I know. I went to a posh school. And but... you've got like a underbite. Does that mean you? Yeah. Like a... Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know, I had I had treatment for years to try and fix that. And as soon as, the, as, oh, soon, you as, soon as it came off, it went straight back to where it was. It was it's absolutely pointless. It's not that bad. Yeah. I can't notice it. I actually, I th- you know what's worse than having an underbite. So I'm, no I'm kind bite. of glad. No, it's having them because I had them for years where they were just the same. Oh, that's all right. So they, no, they were just hip, But then you just couldn't really smile properly because your mouth oh, is. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Right. So my, my teeth just hit in the same. Oh yeah. That? Your mouth reminds me of the the lizard out of Monsters Inc. You look like Randall. Him. Randall. I've been told. I've been told <laughs> you that. Must, that's not you been told that name. before. I've, I've been told like I resemble Randall. Some animals, a lizard being one of them, hyena. Someone told me I was a hyena. Looked like a hyena or a, the or a warthog. <laughs> warthog. <laughs> what do you remind me of? Go on. Uh, let's, not get cars, uh, let's not get cars in again, mate. No, uh, what do you remind me of? You don't look like an animal. No, you look like, um, what's his name from Madagascar? The zebra. Lion. M- Moto Moto. The hippo. Moto Moto. Oh, you the big like fat the... ugly hippo. No, no, he's the sexy big hippo. Oh, yeah. It's a se- oh, yeah, the stud yeah. hippo. He's the sexy hippo. Okay, fine. Well, am, yeah. am I a good hippo? But you don't look like a hippo, though. All right, what do I look like? Like a panda? Yeah, oh, I yeah, like yeah, that. Panda, yeah, 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 yeah. But aggressive at the same time. Well, I, I thought they were very docile. No, nope. they're not. A video I saw two days ago on Instagram. One of the biggest killers. Thanks. One of the, a video I saw two days ago on Instagram, a man, ret- stupid man, <laughs> stupid man, he fell, he runs into a panda cage and he goes, ah, oh, panda, panda is eating his bamboo or whatever. It's runs into to it. Get it? Because... Okay. He won't get that joke. He's oh, posh. you don't know that kind of rap. I got Lena Lena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does know it. Okay, fair enough. Fair hey, enough. I, I, you know, I was in the trap at one point. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been. And so that was sort of 2015, 2016. From I remember MC Kanye Sally. released that remix as well. That was fire. He did. That was, <laughs> that was fire, fire, dude. That was fucking litty, dude. That's, anyway. what I, that's what I was listening to when I was running around and getting it. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fucking hell. So anyway, back to the panda story. <laughs> yeah. This guy goes up to a panda and... Um, it bites his leg and it like rips him across the fucking zoo and he's like dragging him around. I thought they were vegetarians. Yeah. yeah but, but I think he just wants to kill him. Yeah, but vegetarians can still fight. <laughs> can they? It's nice. You want to single them out though because they're weaker. Uh, they actually are though, probably because of no protein. Yeah, all they eat is like nuts and shit. Yeah, but you get plant protein. Yeah, pea, but it's not. Pea protein, isn't no, it? No, no. I had some noodles which had protein in them. Right, yeah, but there's different amino acids. All oh, right. He <laughs> is true. It's true. Did you see that guy that recently died from eating a Chinese? That wasn't that recent. I think I was in first year of uni. <gasps> oh, 
<gasps> oh, he's just oh, come. Oh my God. <laughs> I've just thought of something. <laughs> Have you seen this thing going around recently? The Amsterdam story? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. absolutely I mean, bollocks. Is it not true? <laughs> By the time I, we release I've, this. Oh yeah. I've, I know why that's not true. Why? And it's from the most ridiculous angle. It's because those kind of peat booths don't exist in Amsterdam. Do they not? Well, no. explain for the Glory viewers house. who haven't seen what this is. Okay, well, fundamentally, the story is um, a woman goes on a hen do. Yeah. There's the, the, the requisite, you know, the, the stag do that's affiliated with it. Yeah. Fuck me. That's a lot of long words. The requisite the requ affiliation <laughs> of the stag do. With the discombobulation theory. I'm not um, rich. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, you know, the respective stag do is... <laughs> <laughs> is also present yeah. in Amsterdam. <laughs> present, yeah. So it, and yeah. the story goes, yeah. uh, they're having a good time, get a bit rowdy as you do in Amsterdam, head into a certain establishment which has these glory holes. Right, yeah. Where you, I, I guess the idea is to suck off a stranger. Yeah. Um, but they have a special feature where you can press a button that allows you to, usually glory hole, wall in the way so it's a stranger but it allows you to um elucidate <laughs> <laughs> and reveal the identity of the person yeah on the other side of the wall and it was uh her dad her dad yeah, yeah. Was her dad. who was on the stag do that she was sucking off yes. yeah yep. it's not true though but i wish it was why do you How not do you think it? it's true those those booths aren't real yeah but you haven't what? been in every single brothel in Amsterdam, yeah. have you then, wow <laughs> 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 you yeah, requisited every brothel. <laughs> Go on. So you, you are you guessing it's not true? I've been told that's that's why it's not true. Do you have insider source by people who are more knowledgeable with Amsterdam than I am? Have you been to Amsterdam? I have been to Amsterdam. We, we've Amsterdam. got here um, your simple pleasures in life, mm. Rufus Rice. Um, don't. It's not the war. I'm guessing. No. What, what are your, what simple, are your pleasures? simple pleasures? First one. Oh, you know that first rip of a Marlboro Red after two pints. Jesus. You smoke oh. Marlboro Reds? Well, I don't, I've, I've never bought a cigarette in my life, but I will smoke other people's. Do you smoke cigars? Um, I've smoked one cigars. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't, it's not something I wouldn't buy. They're not buy nice, one. really. They don't, just look cool. Yeah, do don't, don't inhale. No. Never inhale, Rufus. No. You just gotta... Does, does your family... Okay, wait, let's go back to this, actually, because you were like a... Uh, my my family tings yeah are not how you'd expect one of the tings well, so my, my parents aren't posh at, at all, all. No. so where have you got that fucking ridiculous accent from private school from school okay that's that's where you that's where you get it so my my parents are very middle class but very middle class yeah <laughs> right very upper middle they're really poor then it's just middle class <laughs> well i didn't go to private school my parents so and you did yeah okay but my parents started a business that became very successful okay what and is, then, that, is it they sell uh, ski holidays. Oh. Jet 2. Like that. Easy jet. A bit, a bit like that, yeah. Virgin? All, yeah, all of them. What is Jeff Bates? No, what are they? Richard, Richard Branson. Branson. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just sell holidays. They don't do flights. They so there's sell. a travel company? Yeah. Oh. It's a travel company. Well, I have heard of it. No. Can I say the name? I'm not going to. But <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's possible to find for those creepy people who are interested <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. Everyone put it in the comments. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Do it. So when, when it started out, though, like when I was born, we were just living in a flat with a fax machine. And that was the whole business. Just my two parents and a fax machine selling holidays. How old are you? I'm 21. Wait, fax machines were still being used? Five when? years ago. Five years ago. This was in 2000. Like 2002. Wait, what? <laughs> it's in like 2002. Email, emails were around, but you still had to fax things out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought oh. they were like stink. Well, I was five. All right. Carry on. Um, and then it just sort of expanded from there, basically. But it, it very much started out just them two sort of selling. So now do you live in like a fat house? We have, we have multiple residences. How, do you have how, horses? Uh, multiple houses. Yeah. Do you how, have horses? Oh. No, I've horses never ridden a cheap, horse. Though. I've never ridden a horse. Horses are cheap. Horses are cheap. I don't really like animals, though, so... They're not, shit. Not really up my street. I don't like shit. any animals, actually. So they, how many houses do you have? Uh, four. Fuck. Okay, how many bedrooms in your main house? But none of them are particularly big. Go on. So, uh, what's big what, to you is yeah. different what's big to us, okay? 14. I don't, I, we don't have, like, any, any big gaffs. Well, what, how many bedrooms only, in your only, main house, do you reckon? Um, well, <laughs> you know you, this. What would you define as main house? I don't know. The what the hell does that mean? The one is, it the one, is the one I live in? 
He's what? just between houses in Spain. All the one my like parents a... live in. Did your parents okay. buy your house? No, so I, I live in my childhood home. Okay, right. so they but gave my you parents that. don't live. No, 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 I don't own it. Gave you it right. to live in. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. My parents don't live there. Okay. Cool. So like, okay, the biggest house. How many bedrooms? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, like three. three oh. Or four. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a country gaff. <laughs> I'm, okay. I hate the countryside. Oh. Uh, so where do you? Oh, you live in Brighton. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And, so. Uh, your private school. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? It was okay. I was, so I went to school in Singapore. Fuck. Oh yeah, you told me this. Yeah. yeah and it was hyper competitive. It was basically, it was full of like oh. Asian neeks. <laughs> Asian neeks. Do you know what I mean? Just, just sort of like silent people who sort of yeah. sit and play with a calculator at the back of the class. Okay, Did, yeah. In Japan, they're very um, competitive, aren't they? Yeah, so this, this was like, my, my school was very selective, very competitive, really, really try hard and sweaty. And I was one of those people at school. You were? I, oh, well, I, I wanted to be an investment banker nerd. so badly. Oh, yeah. So I would, I would wake up um, in the morning and I'd read the Financial Times every morning. Jesus. I'd listen to Bloomberg daily. Oh my God. Get all my trades out. You know, oh, I, was, I, was, I was very much like, I, I was grooming myself to become the next Patrick Bateman. What happened? At school. Um, I did some work experience. So I was like, fuck this. Yeah, mate. So, I thought that, yeah. You know, you know when you cut open a tree? Yeah. And no, you don't. You can, you no, count. you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. You count, yeah, I know that. You count the rings yeah. right, for how many years. It's yeah, yeah. You, mate, you can count the bags under the eyes of these yeah. fucking traders for how long they've been doing that job because they're the most tired people and sad people. And, and they work nonstop. Breakfast, lunch, dinner at the desk every day. Yeah. Yeah, but fuck. then the trading shit closes. Yeah, but they still well, we work on shit. Oh, did I? If, 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 if you're investment banking, if you're doing mergers and acquisitions, like. Um, I don't know what that means. Well, it's mergers. Business. <laughs> Go on, explain well, it. All right, well, 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 don't say anything. Yeah, what, okay, what, yeah, you explain it. So a merger... And acquisitions and stuff. Yeah, mergers and acquisitions, similar things. Yeah, go on. It's when, let's say, uh, all right, let's say, uh, let's say... <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. Shut up. All right, so let's say um, Virgin. Yeah. Right? They own like a holding company or some shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't... don't and then... They look at this other company like EasyJet, for example, and they're like, oh shit, that looks like a good business. Let's merge it and put it all under the umbrella of Virgin. Is that right? Then they merge it. Is that right? Really? It. Yeah, but what does that have to do with investment banking? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. You've they're... described what a merger is, but what, yeah. what would the mergers and acquisitions division of an investment bank? Well, what you do is you'd invest when they're about to merge. And no, you wouldn't. Wrong. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's don't I know. Move, you, you, you basically, you're paid to give advice on the best way to merge the company. The most yeah, but then way. you're not an investment banker at that point. You're no, that, that literally is investment No, you're banker. an no. investor financial <laughs> advisor. No, no, you're, 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 you're thinking an investment banker is a trader or a stockbroker. Look, you're getting too deep with this, right? Because <laughs> no, I don't mate, know either. My, <laughs> <laughs> All right. my mate's an investment bank. Oh, no, he's a risk analyst. Yeah, another, another Wrong. different division. It's different, oh. different, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I did day trading for a couple of weeks. Yep. How'd you uh, do? Uh, lost everything. Yeah. <laughs> lost the house. I, 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 did, I did it. I lost didn't, the kids. I didn't actually lose. I didn't, I didn't lose, but um, I gave it up because I couldn't relax. Yeah. Because I was just okay. thinking about trading the whole time. Yeah. And yeah. if I had a trade open, I had to just sit there and watch it. Also, I couldn't, day I couldn't do trading else. is not a thing. I don't think. No, it's no, gambling. It, no, it is, it is possible to make money day trading. It's just way harder. Those people who sell like those... Trading courses, courses, right? Bullshit. It's way harder than that. Oh, yeah, because I remember you need years of experience. I used to watch these YouTube videos, and they'd be like, "Oh, so you can see this like graph like that yeah. it means oh it's going to go up." It never happened. No, no. no. Well, well, well it, it is those things. If you have years of experience looking at those gra kind of graphs and doing the analysis, then you you can make money from it. But it's not like you can make a million pounds every day. No, no. It's, so it's 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 like you work really hard to make sixty k a year. Oh, that's fucking dead. Well, it's not dead. That's, good. that's, a, that's a good way. <laughs> anyway, there are some benefits. But not to it, for but. the stress. So do you do TikTok full time now? I do. I yeah. was at uni and I left. So you did all this Singaporean shit. You learned all these fucking trades and acquisitions. Yeah. Merging. Where's your mergers and acquisition knowledge got you? TikTok. <laughs> Same place as us. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy I'm here, though. <laughs> Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, good. good. Life's good. Life's good. TikToking is nice. Don't yeah. acquisition that shit. Don't, up, don't, what I would say is don't merge or acquire it. Don't do that. Some That's people, my advice it could be you. argued you guys have merged. Oh, yeah. Merge I, and acquisition. No, I'd say 
You started to merge with me, but then I acquisitioned. Fuck you. off! I acquisitioned because you're you, the, you were the, you're the big dog, and you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he wasn't. You're very no, much a coattail rider. Exactly. Is right. what you're trying to I, say. I took him under my fucking wing in the start. Yeah, he was on three hundred k. What I'm saying. So will, you tried to merge with me, then I. You I, merged with me. No. Yes, because you you popped up to me. You you tried to merge with me. <laughs> Actually, no. The first time I popped up to you, I wasn't trying to collab. I said, "How do you get that body?" Ooh, I don't even remember that, really. Yeah. I've, I've heard, Cole, that you get, like, unbelievable quantities of DMs from girls. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and what, how did you hear that? Just through the Times? New oh, Times. they're just from our colleagues in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> our colleagues. <laughs> they, 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 they have told me that out of everyone, you are the king. In terms of how many messages you get from girls, you are the king, I, th I think. Mm. I think, yeah, they do Am call I me the king. Wait till, they, wait till they find out you're five foot six. <laughs> yeah. ah, it's funny. It's not true. That's, that's what makes <laughs> a joke. It's, it's what makes a joke. It's not true. <laughs> How tall are you, Rufus? I'm 5'11", and I really wish I was lying. Yeah. But with, with, hair, with hair and shoes, I can easily pass for six. Oh, that's mm. right. Because yeah. I measure so, myself with shoes and hair on my head. Yeah. That's why I have the <laughs> quiff. Just for quiff, a bit of, quiff. bit of height. Oh, the quiff. Oh, quiff. The cow's lick. You have a cow's lick. Yeah, the cow's lick. Oh, yeah, you do. I've also got a cow's lick, but when I grow my hair, it unlits. So do you think you'll lose your hair soon? No, I, I have uh, historically thick hair in my family. Oh, fantastic. So uh, yeah. it's, it's looking good. I feel like rich people do. Do you feel like you're in... I feel like, you know, when you, you've got that family who's like your private school and shit, do you feel like you're in the mafia? Do you know what I mean? Though? What a ridiculous question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've always, I've always, I wasn't wanted, even listening at that point. I've always wanted to have like, you know, when I don't know, it's like it, it's, it's like, not like we sit around at breakfast drinking champagne and smoking <laughs> cigars and talking about how much we hate the poor. <laughs> Do you it's you not, have it's like, not like uh, that family what, rituals and shit like in the movies. Ritual? No, bro. You, My parents are very normal. Okay, what about at private school? Did you hear stories about people like eating kids? Eating kids? Yeah, no one does people, that. Rich people do. No, I mean, no, some gay stuff happened in the boarding house, but like, oh, did you get them. involved? No, but um, there was, you know, there's obviously a lot of rumors going around about alleged games of soggy biscuit that may or oh, may, that not, happened. may or may not have been played. Did you eat one? Uh, no, I always won. <laughs> you always won soggy biscuit. Yeah. What okay. other games? I they, used to, like... they used to call me Pocket Rocket Rice back in the day because I could. I was just ready to go. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just burst. I was first to burst every time. Yeah. How how long does it take you to come now? If you're shagging These a days, missus, a girl. Yeah. yeah. If you're shagging a girl. How long would it take you to splurge? The thing is, it's how fast could you and how how fast do you want to? Mm. A two separate idea. This is a very okay. Buddhist notion, really, of separating the mind and the body. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of Eastern philosophy, which I learned out in Singapore, mm -hmm. of course, right, is, is to, in the West, we all believe it's all connected. Yeah. And that you think you're about to nut and then you go, oh, oh no, I'm going to nut. Oh shit, I'm going to nut. And then you nut. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Buddhism, you learn to separate those thoughts from your physical feelings. How do you do that? So where, do, where does the thought I sort of, I, I just go to my mind palace. Well, sort what, of. what does that mean? Well, How do we teach us, please? I went to a monastery in Tibet. Is that for Buddhism? People? Yeah. Sorry, you went to a monastery and they showed you how to come. No, they showed you how to not come. So, so they're so, wanking you off and they're, don't come, don't come, don't come. Have you heard of tantric? No. Yeah, it's a set of breathing techniques that allows you to um, extend an edge, basically. Okay, so you're all being taught, you're all wanking in a room and you're breathing and you're stroking your cock and you're trying not to come. Is, is essentially, the, is, the, is the gist. There's a little bit more to it than that, but yeah. So... Is this like the thing where you can make yourself have an orgasm without doing any of it through breathing? You can think yourself to to bust. Yeah. <gasps> I, is this? Are you being serious? It's, right it's, yeah. real, it's real. Genuinely. It's real. But I didn't. There's like, a guy. I, I haven't. I haven't mastered it. There's no. that Buddha who, uh, or not Buddhist, who killed himself through thinking. That's a real fact. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just thought about dying. He just, he, yeah, he was in a room and he was just. He said to his mates, "Look." I'm about to die. <laughs> Watch this, mate. Yeah, and he did. And then they, there's a video of it and they put him in a bag and put him in a coffin and off he goes. <laughs> Watch this. Just fucking dies. <laughs> yeah. That's, the power of the mind is nuts. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Once, once, you, once you unlock it, I'm not saying I have, but I feel like, you know, I've, I've scraped the walls of that world. Have you released your <laughs> ego? That's what no, I've released a lot of spunk. Though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just a life size. With, with your pro I want to know about private school because uh, I okay. didn't. I didn't go to private school. You didn't either. No, I didn't know. So, is there? Do you have to do? Oh, that's what they should talk about. Rituals. Do you do rituals to get into your little frat groups, people? I think you're confusing. 
where I went to school with Arizona State University. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, feel, I feel like they do that in movies. Private school, you in you movies. have like no no no, you have societies like rugby society, and they'll it's, make it's you the thing, lick I, your balls or something. Maybe if he went to Eton or Harrow or Stowe, but my school oh. was international, so. No, it, there were very few English people in my school. There were a lot of oh. sort of... Did you prefer that? Um, I, I, I liked the cultural diversity. Did you find that there was people that didn't like poor people? Oh, everyone hates poor people. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? On this so, podcast, uh, so, mate, they're all peasants. I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> joking. So, That's a joke. I've got to state every we, we joke had, I make. We had it. scholars at our school, right? And those are people who've been plucked mm. from disadvantaged backgrounds who've done exceptional work in their communities. Yeah. And they've been recognized by the school and then brought to have an education, right? So yeah. these are really high achieving, but poor people. Yeah. The divide was unbelievable. They didn't the like amount it. of really? the, the amount of abuse. Did they get beaten up? No, no, nobody got beaten up, but like Do you wish you could beat them up? No. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't have that kind of violent instinct. But there, there was definitely a lot of there was just a, there was a class divide. Would you opinion. shag a poor? What? <laughs> yeah, right. Would I shag a poor? Like, like <laughs> I, have and, those... I have and I will. Okay, in your divide school, um, and a poor person's doing brilliantly, but they're poor and they're yeah. fit though. Well, yeah. they're mid, seven out of 10. Um, okay. Would you, and she was like, oh, Rufus, can you shag me? Would you shag her? Yeah. Why there not? you go then, no divide. He's sort would, uh, I don't, I don't see. I don't see income. Would um, the posh people be... Uh... <laughs> I, don't get, I don't get it. <laughs> well, what? What's it. I said I don't see income. Oh. I, I don't. What a joke. I thought he's made a joke. But he didn't. <laughs> it's like people, 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 people who aren't racist say I don't see color. Yeah, oh, but I, I don't see income. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Fine. What did you say? Would the posh people, the rich people, compete on who's richest? Yes. Yeah. 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 So the biggest flex of school was when you were going home for holidays. You'd you'd fly out of the other airport because that's where all the private jets were. Oh, instead, instead of instead of the regular commercial airport with all the peasants at it. <laughs> what would you fly in a private jet home i wouldn't but there, are, there are a lot of rich there are a lot of rich would you fly economy yeah oh you're business modest. class though. I've, I've only flown business once i think and it was I've not never, it was on, have you ever flown points. in a private jet it's on points no i've never i have so he has yeah but, you, but you earned it see if i did it i wouldn't yeah. have earned it so it True, wouldn't have felt yeah. the same would it did okay so who was like the richest fucker in, at that school we had a couple of so there were quite a lot of indian guys oh yeah they're, they're very and, yeah, they're rich they're good <gasps> yeah carry on and so my grade 10 boarding school room was yeah. me and the sons of two indian billionaires in billionaires our room. yeah so one of That's them his rich. dad owns the biggest steel works in in india Jeez, and the other the other guy, his dad owns like the Kellogg's of India, basically the made made all like cereals. cereals. Stuff. Yeah, right. What's the point in going to school at that point? Well, the thing is, the yeah. thing is, these guys are, have so much money that money actually loses all its right. meaning. To yeah, it. yeah. So, so this guy he had lost his Apple Watch, right? So he was rooting through all his cupboards and stuff trying to find his Apple Watch. Hmm. And in the drawer where he found his Apple Watch, he had his emergency $10,000 that he'd forgotten about. Right. Just, just, for emerg <laughs> just for emergencies, he had a stack of 10K in cash. Did just in, just in uh, case. Oh, he's 40, he's 40, 14. He's 14. 14 <laughs> yeah. years old. Fucking yeah. hell. That's cool. Did, they, did everyone get allowances? Um, Is that a Well, thing? my parents gave, gave me a very reasonable allowance, but I think they were like, whatever. What's an allowance? I want to know what an allowance is. What's a standard allowance? I don't know. I think, but my, um, I'm going to have to give it to you in Singapore dollars. Go on. Okay. I'll try to convert it. I don't know. I was, at, I was at school. I was probably, it was probably only like $250 a month. Probably. Oh, that's yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. About 150 quid. No, that's not bad. I suppose you kind of needed that, right? I would, I would, um, oh yeah, you definitely need it because I, I had to buy everything myself. So are your parents quite like, um... You've got bogey in your nose. Do I? Oh, yeah, it's just sorry. come out now. Yeah, sorry. Right sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you, do your, are your parents quite, um, thingy with you? Do they teach you about the value of money? They're strict with you. Oh yeah, definitely. They don't really? give you everything. Like David Beckham. Yeah. Is right. that what he does? Yeah. He, does he? he? He sent his kid out to fish and chip shop or some shit. Uh, oh, no, 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 to work there. <laughs> oh, right, I, right, well, right. I don't think it was a fish. It was something like that. It was a retail shop or some shit. And uh, yeah, he got him to, to work there to learn the value of money because he said, if you want things, you fucking get things, bruv. Yeah. Have you worked? Yep. I, I was a bartender before, oh, I, was, shit. before I was taking You like it? I was shaking, shaking cocktails. No way. Yeah. Do you, okay, fine. Do your parents, would they leave their wealth to you or are they one of those people? Because Warren Buffett, 
he's given nothing to his children and he's like a multi-billionaire, right? Yeah, it's going to it's gonna get dimmied up. Unfortunately, my parents are in very good shape and very healthy, so I feel oh. like I'm going to have to wait a while. Uh, get him on the vapes. To get any of that. Yeah, I wish. I mean, my mum's a health food writer, so I'm not, no. sure, she's, I'm not sure that's going to work. No. But, we were yeah. talking about... Um, oh, yeah. Before you, Rufus came on, right? We were saying about you needed a poo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you went for a poo. Yeah, I went, yeah. And then Jack went for a poo. And I said, Jack, you wash your hands. And then Jack said, well, you don't need to wash your hands after a poo because your hand doesn't touch your poo. But I said, that's fucking, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, I, 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 here's, here's the thing is, maybe your hand doesn't directly touch the poo, but I feel like the molecules of poo are gonna os osmosis through the fucking paper. On no, yeah. See, no, 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 no. Okay, right, listen. Mm. How, I, I use, when I have toilet paper, I use a lot of folds so the osmosis doesn't go through. Yeah, but Jack, you're still, to, to wipe your ass, you're using the other hand to like, Pull apart your I cheeks. Would argue, on a I don't pull apart my cheeks. I pull apart my cheeks. No, I don't. No, when you go on the toilet, you open one, and then once you've got the grip of one arse cheek, you can open it, and it grips onto the other side, and it's open the whole time. You yeah. have you have the, the static friction between your arse cheek and the toilet yeah. seat allows for the gapage. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but I'm yeah, it does. But I'm saying what I do to get nice, deep, clean is to spread my arse cheeks a bit further and stick my yes, hand up. But that's what I'm saying. So you might need to wash your hands. But mine, my situation is there's no osmosis. There's no shit particles and I'm not touching my ass with my hand. If I do finger my ass I think, I think hand, for me, it's, I it's more emotional. I, 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 feel, I feel like if I don't wash my hands, I'll be walking around with shitty hands. Even, okay. if, I, even yes. if I'm not, it's just a feeling. Okay, but yeah. why don't you wash your face? Because <laughs> he's not shoving his head down the fucking But you're toilet. not... Okay, I know that. It's a, but... it's a question of distance, really. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, but... No, 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 no. Listen to me right now. Because when you wipe your ass, you look at it like this. I'd say your face is pretty close to the shit, so why don't you wash your face? Because you're... If it's a question of Because distance. you're not using your face with tissue paper to wipe an ass. That's why... Yes, but you're not wiping your ass with your hand. You're wiping it with the tissue paper. Yes, but there's so, so much shit around your hand. Are you not concerned with not washing your hands? Are you not concerned about having shitty hands? If I fingered my ass with my hand, I'd wash it. Yeah, but but what, what I'm saying, do you have to smell your fingers after every shit then? Just no, no, just no. To check you, if you need to wash them. Up. I you would. Do. I would be able to feel if I've done that to my butt. I guarantee, if you went for a poo, right, and you think you didn't get any shit on your hands, and you flush a toilet, and you came out and you sniffed your hand, it would smell of shit. See, this is where I differ because. When you wee, you said you don't care about washing your hands when you wee, but I'd yeah. say there's more particles of weeage when you hold your willy. Yeah, but weeage is much better than pooage. I would, I would <laughs> dispute that. Would you, would you rather have a golden shower or chocolate rain? That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I would rather weeage. I would rather weeage. Yeah, okay, you'd rather weeage. People, but... people like drink piss for fun. Yeah, yeah but not many people are into poo poo. Mm, but well, in Dubai they are. If oh, yeah, go over there yeah, and they, they just shit oh, it up. Happened, they yeah. eat that poo. That's how you know that someone's got a shit fetish because they moved to Dubai. That's why they go. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Not it's okay. not tax, it's poo. How much mm. would you have to get paid for someone to either piss or shit in your mouth? Everybody's because everybody's got a price. Yeah, okay. If I was to give, if I was to give you six and a half thousand pounds to, to dump in your mouth. No, no, no. Why? We may, we TikTokers make too much money for that. Oh, <laughs> come on, we do, we do. No, we, we hate poor people. Jack That's does, rude. I don't. No, Clip that, I love Clip that. I love you. <laughs> I love all you peasants. <laughs> <laughs> all no, of, all okay. of you pagans. Okay, so uh, 25,000 pounds, one poo, munch it up. To be fair, with that 25K, I'm now I'm it's tax free, right? Yeah. 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 I, with, that, with that, now then I'm probably over my saving goal to buy a house, so maybe I would say that, but no. Oh. We'll have to save 25k. These. What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm saving up for a house. So you only need 25k to get to your half a mil and then you'll buy a house. <laughs> to get, well, it's, you know, I'm not buying it cash. Buying it I'm credit. Deposit mortgage. Bitcoin. The old classic. Bitcoin. <laughs> so 25k to, to reach your, 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 your end goal, right? I, yeah, I think that would get me over the, over the target. 100k. Sorry? Well, if he said yes to 25k... No, he's saying an overall total price deposit. So he reckons he wants 100K, but he's on 75K at the moment. He'll get 25K. I don't, I don't say that. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't you know. You said, would you eat a shit for 25K? I, I'd say in my current context, like if I could just get the 25K 
now tax free. Yeah. Jack? Yeah. Oh, I'll take a 25k, yeah. All right. Would you? No. Okay, I've got a good question then. Go on. If you were to go, I feel like you'd have some sort of Buddhism physiological. <laughs> Shut up. Philosophical. That's what they said in the, in the monastery. <laughs> Physiological. Uh, a Buddhist um, philosophical answer to this, mate. Yeah, okay. So, if I gave you a time travel machine... Yeah. ...and I travelled you back to, like, 500 years ago... Okay. ...what would you teach and why? Like, what would I tell the people? Yeah. Like, uh, so let's, 500 years ago... You were king. Yeah. So, we're in, the, we're in the 60s. You're not a king, you're just you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but how's he going to tell people what go out on the street... <laughs> here's, here's the thing like J Jesus is the original TikToker the people, yeah. people don't really it's, but he's basically just a biblical influencer yeah we are like Jesus he is a magician he's, he's sort of he's sort of Mr. Beast and Jesus are sort of comparable really yeah the, they're, they're just the biggest messengers of their Didn't time G did Jesus cure blind people he created yeah, yeah. blind people no, no no his dad did no, and he was like fuck that dad I'll cure him oh, was that he cured a lot of people famously uh, oh, red was, wine was he quite famous was red wine he made he made that yep. thing. Out of water. Don't no, even blood. know how the fuck he did blood, it. Turn blood. water into wine, mate. Oh, what's <laughs> what? the blood thing then? That he did say. Uh, blood. The blood of Christ is wine. Oh, oh is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go then. So we're just drinking Jesus blood. Christ's wine. Blood. Yeah, and every time you have bread, that's the body, body of Christ. Is and, so, and so it He goes. was made out of bread in well, this story. It's, well, it's gingerbread a, man. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a gingerbread surely, man. Surely you went to a Church of England school and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no one knows this. So, fucking, you guys all went to like Niki Academy. So, so <laughs> we weren't learning about bread Jesus and fucking red wine. RE was a required right. subject. So, so Jesus is meant to be made out of bread? No, it's a representation of him. Oh, that's, it's that's, a metaphor. That's point. It's a metaphor. Oh, that's What's the, the point of the metaphor? What does it mean? What people well, are eating? at communion, you eat bread and you drink wine and that's the body so of Christ. So you're eating the idea. body of Christ. I mean, I don't, I'm not religious, but I would, you know, I would love a bit of wine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, well, what would you teach these fuckers? Um, oh, I'm just, I'm just wondering, do I have any knowledge that's worth passing on that they didn't know back then? Well, yeah. They're, well, they're, you're, they're what you know now. Yeah. Come on. 500 years ago is thick. But what would you say then? Okay. I would say, uh, we've had this question in the last month. Oh, well. So I've already said my one, but I'll come up with another one. I'd probably say, um, Oh, just, just do what you want. Don't listen. You don't have I, to read a book. I, I think I'd be too busy like gambling on major events that happen. Oh, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know the outcome. So I'd, I just like. Uh, Would you tell everyone? Pay me, and I'll get, get you rich. I think I just run a gambling syndicate. Is what I do, probably just yeah. a huge betting ring. What was going on five hundred years ago? Is that like uh, uh, sixteen hundred? So it's sort of. Oh yeah, I think Charles Charles the Second got thrown off Black the Death throne. Maybe? Plague. Bubonic plague. The Great Fire of London happened in 1666. You could prevent the London fire. I, or I could bet on it happening. Well, yeah. Could, or well, I yeah. start an... In, I start a... F oh, I'm, fucking, I'm a fucking genius. Go on. I just short all the insurance companies. What do you mean? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> think, about how, think about how much those he's, insurance He's talking about shorting the fucker. <laughs> Merging, acquisitioning. <laughs> <laughs> think about how much those insurance companies are going to be fucking paying out once the whole of London did, goes up in flames. They, they, they didn't exist. Did they didn't exist back then. Right? Absolutely. No, nah. they didn't. Of course they didn't. Why would they did. exist? They had no cars and stuff, no no insurance. The houses were all shit and wood and poo everywhere. Yeah, they didn't have that's why I, I can imagine insurance was quite expensive on those. There's no way insurance existed back then. Can sure. you look up when insurance it was yeah. created? They barely yeah. had money. They had it then. in fucking Babylon, bro. What the fuck I is that? I don't know what that is. You keep coming <laughs> out with things that are just too high IQ for this. Well, uh, when was, was insurance invented? You're going to look like a right... The 14th century. So that's 1347. Yeah, so that's right. about 300 years before. When was Babylon then? Uh, like 300 BC. But that's exactly, thank you. There you go. <laughs> when, what is Babylon? Babylon's one of the older civilizations in Mesopotamia. No, it's a song that's, as well. That's, um, yeah, that, great song. Babylon. Do -do. Yeah. Do -do. So that, yeah, 1347. Okay, fine. Insurance. <gasps> Richest man in Babylon. It's a book. I read it. Back then, the money was like... No, no. Muf Muramasa. One pound would have you rich, mate. Muramasa. <laughs> richest man to ever live. Yeah, he wasn't in... Was he in Babylon? I, don't I know. think he was more of an African Donny. Was he African? Can we look up who... <laughs> Mansa, look up Mansa Musa wealth. Man Mansa. Man Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa. Oh, I thought it was Muramasa. Mansa Musa wealth. 
I thought it was Murumasa. Uh, he probably doesn't exist. No, not that guy. Right. No, he's like a 12th century African king. He's the richest man of all time. He basically yeah. owned all the gold in Africa. Yeah, he was like, well loaded. Animal. What's the poshest thing you've ever done? <laughs> I'm so intrigued by the posh lifestyle. Yeah, but he might not even be posh. We just. I don't. I don't really. I don't really have it. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people who do. Okay, I want to know some stories of a posh person. But yeah, but basically, I think. I think fundamentally living the posh lifestyle mm. is having a dad who's too busy to really love you. Oh, okay. and um, sad. It's really, really sad. And a mill for a mum which kind of balances it is out. Is your mum a mill? Come on. Well, is my, your mum a mill? Oh, oh, we're into family. Yeah. Oh, other people's mums. Yeah. Other Wait, your mum what? Other people's mums. Is Are your you? mum not fit? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, can uh, I judge her then or not? Afterwards, yeah. they have trophy wives. So that's what they call them, right? Exactly. So, so you, have, uh, you have a father who's too busy to love you. And then a kind of milf for a mum. So Who you have sort of, like sexual tension with. No, they have Filipino little um, milfs. They go to Philippines and buy like a little. Yeah, but that's just the non like a wife. That, oh, that's after the divorce. Yeah. Okay, so you haven't got a Filipino mum yet. No. Waiting, still waiting. That you know with of. fake tits. Would you want that? What the hell? I mean, this, that is the traditional standard. Yeah. Yeah. Fake tits. A lot of plastic in the face as well. Mm. Do you do you still hang around with like those kind of people? I know. I know a few. Do you but go I, I find I find if you spend more than a few days with them, it Get comes, a bit, comes a bit unbearable. Just because they they just live in a different reality. So yeah. Well, we went to a club recently that yep. was full of them. Full of, and, wait, uh, full of what? Where did you go? You full of like, uh, we went into where was it? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. When we went to that really expensive club, can't remember. Oh, what to a ten years side of an anniversary? No, we oh. went clubbing in London. Did we? Oh, uh, uh, rain or something? Something like that. One of those clubs and everyone in there was like really oh, rich. People. Raw. No, very raw. Yeah, very and I raw. hated them. Yeah. I just um, hated them. Yeah. Oh, when I went to Dubai, this will fucking bust you up. Well, I, 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 okay. I, was, speak I was speaking to... Can I speak? <laughs> well, the hell you cut me off? I was, spe well, I was speaking to one of those girls the other day and she said she genuinely thought that most people had been to Rome on holiday, like in the world. And they've been. Never been. That, that more people have been to Rome on holiday than haven't been. That's, how can their lifestyle be? That's, that that's the kind. That's the kind of bubble that you live in, if you're one of these people. My yeah. um, what I was going to say before I was really interrupted, by the way, is uh, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say now? Oh yeah, in Dubai, yeah, I was round this uh, table, and some guy. He knows. He sort of. He, he, I was at Five Palm. If you've heard of it, right? Mm. And we were just chilling around the pool, and then he's ordering a bath full of uh, a bath. I, a bath. A real bath. A real bath yeah. filled with um, champagne to the top of the bath. Mm. 250 pound a bottle, right? Mid, like, I don't know how many are in there. Yeah? Right. And he's getting a champagne, cracks it open. Shake it, lads! Over his mates, over girls. And then he gets another one. Shake it, lads! I'm looking at him like, what? You are a fucking weirdo, mate. Oh, and then he actually gave me one of them. I, was like, I went, oh, cheers, mate. You weirdo. <laughs> Here, have this. Oh, cheers. I don't, I don't want it, but I'll take it. And uh, yeah, I drank it. It was nice. And then I saw him in a really like uh, high-end sort of club later on. He ordered more and was doing it again in the club. And he was going, oh, go on, lads, it's fucking Is it a mental. tax write-off? What is the point in that? Because he's showing off. That's what Dubai sometimes, some people, some people in Dubai. I, I see videos how, how where they're they actually watch. feeling, though. Well, he's I would hate that. In, I would hate in, that. Inside, inside while he's going. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably like, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so lonely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That might, that, you must be so lonely to do it. I see yeah. videos where they pour it on their watch to clean their Rolex. It's like, oh, fuck. Do you? I've never seen that because yeah, I've got a that's, Rolex. <laughs> I'm joking. That's the main thing. I don't. So... This is the last segment called Truth or Bloody Lie. If you're, um, if, if you're listening to up until this point, leave a comment that says, what, Jack? Uh, Rufy Rice. I want Rufus to Rufy me. Say that. I want Rufy to, I want Rufus to Rufy some rice. Yeah, yeah, do that. If, you've, if you're watching... You don't us. have to. You should. <laughs> no, it's okay. Do it, do it. So we know. It's not a legal obligation. Uh, uh, well. and, and if you do that, please like the video. Share um, it to your mates. Share it if you like, but it's better if you like comment and like it. Oh, and yeah. Just tell us your thoughts and rate this five star on, on Spotify because we love you so much. Ooh. All right. And the Spotify, what? What? He's looking at me like I'm a paedophile. No, I'm just a bit, <laughs> I'm just a bit buzzed, to be honest. <laughs> what, I've had quite a lot of Hennessy. Oh, You're really? buzzing? Yeah. I'm buzzed. And it's, it's got, yeah. I kind of wish I was. half a bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> I wish I didn't drive. Then I'm I would, I'd be buzzing as well. So this is truth or lie, um, where... Rufus is going to be given a truth 
or a lie. And then he's going to say the story. And then uh, me and Jack are going to question him and decide. Are you a good me. liar? Or no. a truth teller? You're not a good liar. No. Well, I'm quite good at body language. So let me just quickly analyze. Yeah, let's analyze him now. And then he's going to get the card. Okay. And you're going to read, don't read, read it out straight away. Yeah. yeah. Right. <clears throat> the second you look at it, you've second got to read you look it at out. it, hide it and Go. read it out. My parents own a ski resort that only our family are allowed to use. Okay. Hush. And then hide the card so we can't see if it's your handwriting or not. Um, so your parents own a ski resort. Yeah. Only you're allowed to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're, so earlier in the podcast, you mentioned that your family run a ski resort. They run a ski travel company. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And it seems a bit convenient. It is convenient. And so where does it, where does it come in that they own the resort? Essentially... Um, so there's a, uh, there's a resort out in Canada called Whistler, right? Do they do skiing in Whistler. Canada? Yeah, they do. They do. I know someone in Canada. I would, I, in, in my opinion, in my opinion, Whistler is probably the best resort in the world. And you in, own it. He's actually train. right about that as well. Oh, although his parents own a ski, so he would we know that anyway. We don't own it. It's owned by Vail Resorts. Oh, but, okay. um, we have a place there. I spent a season there. I went to school there when I was about five or six and, you know, they have... Think they of was a lie. Think of a lie. It was originally two resorts. Right. The full name of the resort is Whistler Blackcomb. Okay. And it was originally two resorts that merged. Ah. Convenient. But in the, Merge. Is yeah, that word exactly. again? Yeah, you're, you're acutely aware of mergers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obtusely aware of mergers. But the, what, what has been written there, how it's been phrased... Poorly. Is... Well, I've deliberately tried to mislead you. Okay. Because what it actually is, is this, the ski resort in question is not quite as big as you're imagining. How big is it? Essentially, in the merger process, there was a little bit left over. So my, my family, we, the majority of the cust customers <laughs> yeah. we have um, uh, sent out to Whistler and other Canadian resorts. That's our specialist market. Yeah. And um, because we've done so much business with that resort, they know us so well, you know, we're, they're big dons in town, my parents are out in Whistler. Yeah. When that merger happened, they had some additional, you know, some leftovers yeah, from, some that, scraps. from that merger. Essentially, what I'm talking about as a ski resort is one private slope with one lift on it. But... Yeah, I mean, interesting. I, I, so, so it's not resort is sort of flowery language for what is. So do you, does your family own that little bit of mountain? So you own right. a mountain in a way. It's, it's a bit tricky in Canada because legally you, it's a, like a protected national park. So you can't own it, but you can sort of get a lease for use of the land. Okay. And do Makes you sense. give it to people? Well, anyone who comes and stays with us. It's it's not hugely exciting. It's it's sort of it's sort of literally one run, but okay. it is okay. It does Very exciting. It does just link up. So our house is on situated on the side of the mountain. Okay, yeah. what color is a run? Oh, like difficulty. Yes, I thought I was going to say white <laughs> <laughs> because they, <laughs> because they call that. it's it's just a green. Like it's it's right at the bottom. It's oh, not. Okay. Yeah. So it's like that. It's, it was Nothing basically then. a little bunny slope area that after they merged, they. Basically, Whistler hey. Resort inherited the beginner's area from the other resort and so had no use for this one, which is sort of a weird piece off to the side Could they not in a residential still area. Could they use it for beginners? Why did yeah. they just give it to you? Well, the thing is, is they have the children's learning centre and all the resources, all the instructors and all the food places are over at this other place. Right. So, wow, he's, he's a good, he's good. He's good. So, and and it, it, is, it is the sort of place that you would only really ski over there if you were trying to find it so it's quite private it's it's it was quite private anyway it was sort of at the outer edge of why the was your house on a resort no so it's skiing ski and ski out so oh, well, basically really... it's just on the mountainside so yeah, so you said you owned five houses four four is this one of them this is one of them yeah one of four one of four how many rooms does this one have this one's got three bedrooms Hmm. Okay. And how old, how long have they had it? The house? The, or the, 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 the resort. So thing. the resorts must have merged in maybe 2014, 15. Okay. 
This is really hard. But we, but we, we had already, we had already had the house for fifteen years. This is very hard. This, oh. one. this is this is one of the hardest ones. Yeah, I don't know because you think it's convenient. Yeah, it's about skiing, but then again, you're very convincing. Well, ask me more. Okay, right. Well, then um, I don't know anything about skiing because I'm not boring um <laughs> what else about skip go on jack i'm trying to think i'm trying to see if you've tripped up here i'm trying to analyze your body language is good i'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. good to know good to know i think it's true yeah but i don't know because okay what else can we ask him quickly i think it's true why do you think it's true i don't know he just uh he just gave me that body language he is an expert. I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah, he's a specialist. <laughs> he's a specialist. Right. Oh, God, I'm going to... It's true. I think... Have you used the ski resort? The, your little beginner bit? Yeah, of course we use it. And when we have friends to come around, you know, everyone... everyone it's, it's not, you know... Yeah, but what, it, it's, it's not... So it's, it's, it's actually, it's a request lift. So the lift isn't just going all the time because I would just expect you have to so cool much someone down. electricity. So you actually mm. just... You just press and the chair comes you don't need a chair on a beginner lift beginner slope though oh it's not yeah but it's not a drag lift what is it it's a chair lift so you on a beginner on slope. a green slope yeah on a beginner green slope you have you never seen that before that's not real that ain't real we went skiing this year that ain't real yeah remember the beginning slopes yeah where did you go skiing uh switzerland switzerland they have a lot more drag lifts in the alps that's bullshit. There's no, not gonna that, be a, I would have I would have more believed a drag lift than a, a chair lift on a fucking Yeah, green. I don't think there'd be a chair lift on a green little he beginner up slope. There. And you up. said it was a beginner slope, which yeah, they it, is, use. it is a beginner slope. No, they don't do uh, chair lifts. It'd be a drag lift on that, if anything. It'd, it'd be a drag lift or those ones where you put your skis on and it just Yeah, that's a drag lift. No, that's a magic carpet. That's a magic carpet. Oh, sorry. God. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I don't. I don't see how you have a problem with that being. A so, how big is this green slope? <laughs> it's probably like three hundred meters. How big is that? Uh, that's quite big for a beginner lift. That's beginner, kind beginner of, thing. That's not a beginner then. That well, can't no, green, no, no. It's it? just. It's not steep. I thought. Fuck me. Um, fuck sake. Well, I, I wish I knew more about skiing. Lying. I think personally. Oh God. Uh, yeah, I was thinking true, but now I think I'm lying. I can't believe that's the point you would get. I just don't <laughs> think there'd be it's, a... It's, it's a, the, the, po the problem you have with my story is not that we have a, own a private ski resort. It's the type of lift. <laughs> that, have a, that just doesn't make sense to me. But. Uh, I just don't think that works. I don't think it works. Um, You'd have a, one of those ones you put between your nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nut, lift. Lift. A, nut, a nut lift, yeah. Nut lifter. Actually, usually you only have those on glaciers, really. But Nah, we weren't on a glacier and we had them. How often do you visit this house? Uh, every year. Once? At least once. Definitely. So we go every Christmas. Mm -hmm. You go in this we'll, Christmas, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And we'll go Easter as well. Is it booked? So it's all in the diary. 16th of December if you want to come. For how long? Two weeks. Yeah, easy answer. Oh, over Christmas. Over Christmas. When do you get back? Year. What date? 2nd of January. <laughs> Work out. Everyone's, how many days are there in December? 31 probably. It's roughly two weeks. Ah, two and a half weeks. Ah, ah. he's lying. Jack, he's lying. Hundred percent. Ah, the math Jack. ain't mathing. Randall's lying. Randall, <laughs> sorry, saying lying. Yeah. All right. Three, lying. two, one. one. Lie. 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 Yeah. Lie. Uh, well, you lie. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yes. I'm, quite, I'm, I'm surprised you believed any of it. To be honest, I felt well, like you, you were... it was quite. Uh, the thing is, I can't. I, I can't believe the thing you didn't believe about that was the type of lift which yeah you messed I've, up I, there. which in canada there are loads of chair lifts on beginner slopes nah really yeah don't know loads, this, loads loads and loads yeah so you, you don't there's barely any drag lifts in canada anywhere oh really uh, yeah yeah all oh, right well we got you on that there so. we're good at this we're fucking brilliant at this. I, had a, I had a win in my pocket and i said you, you want to ask anything else and then i lost <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was gonna say true. it was very convincing because because you you do have a fucking travel company, but and then I thought convenient, and then you were going on about it like you weren't saying too much, but you were still you were really explaining it as if because well, I didn't know what the fuck you. Well, I was about. trying to lean on my knowledge of skiing. Well, yeah, which is extensive, and it's hard when we don't know anything about. Skiing. So, do you have any ski resorts? No. <laughs> <laughs> do wish... you own a house in where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in you Canada. own a house, but yeah. you don't own a mountain. 
Oh yeah, and I've you know I lived there for a long time. That mer the merger of the ski resorts there ha that happened like ah oh. oh wow, so it's based on fact. Yeah, it's yeah. based on a true story. It's like one of those films. There's Horror absolute films. bollocks, and they say is based it? on a true story like at the beginning. Is it bollocks? I thought it you know when you see a film, it says based on a true story. That yeah, means yeah. like insidious. Right. Absolute bollocks. Conjuring, yeah. Yeah, how can that be based on real? It's oh, not. It no, is. actually it is. It is. Uh, bit, uh, there's, yeah. what's the one? Uh, the, is that? Uh, Conjuring 2. Yeah. yeah. So there's a house in like Birmingham. <laughs> yeah. And you can visit it. Yeah. Where And there's a video of this girl getting exercised. Yeah. <laughs> exercise. Or she's doing some fucking <laughs> yoga poses. Exorcismed. Yeah. And yeah. she's literally just flying in the air, I think. She's flying about. You thought you thought the Indian billionaire stuff would be too bait to give me the true one. It's because you said about knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the in, what was the true your one? Was I climbed a volcano with an Indian billionaire? But oh yeah, yeah. we would have got it. Would have got, oh, yeah. got it. Why did I? Why would we have got that? Because he talked about an Indian billionaire earlier. Yeah, yeah, but that could have been a lie. It could have been an obvious lie. Oh yeah, like that oh, one because you talked about yeah. ski resorts. What, what did you climb? A volcano. Uh, Mount Kinabalu in Malaysia. That's so weird that we randomly talked about mountains and... Yeah, and, that, and you and wrote that down before we spoke about mountains. And mm -hmm. your billionaire friend. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? We're, We're psychic. psychic. We're psychic. We're, we truth tellers and likeics. Is that, is that a song? <laughs> <laughs> it's a band. It's an indie band. Truth tellers and likeics. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, that uh, is. Oh, should we end the episode? Because you have to. You lost. So we, we've got some absinthe. Here. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we haven't. We haven't done I've a never, in ages. I've never had absinthe. Never. No. It's brilliant. I've had it once. Um, is, 60, this, is this empty? Oh, I'll just polish this off. Polish yeah. that off. This is sixty percent. How already, much of it do you have? Uh, it's just a shot. I'll, I'll pull the shot. And. Um, so obviously you lost, so we're doing a forfeit. We, we, we've brought back the forfeit just for this particular episode because we can. Um, and then you do a shot. That, that's a big it's shot, big Cole. Shot. That's it's a big shot. Like, it's not big for him. He's right. That's quite big. It's only 60%. What does it smell like? Oh, it's mint. It's mint. And oh, yeah. smell that. Sorry, licorice. That's awful. Oh, I like that. Really? I love you, licorice. You'd like to suck that up, would you? I love licorice. It's, it, it smells like Sambuca. Yeah, yeah, I it hate does, yeah. Sambuks. Sorry, I'm just getting getting a little picture for the story so people know that you're cool. We've got friends. Lots of clout. <laughs> you got mates. Um, just do that mid podcast. Well, <laughs> we're we're actually at the end. You know, we're still on air. <laughs> <laughs> still on his side. Right. <laughs> right, hang on. <laughs> just Can post I? it afterwards. <laughs> just do the shot. And we're done. Yeah, we'll forget about it though. <laughs> it's got okay. a terrible memory. So I had absinthe in um, Magaluf with mm. my friend. Sambuca. Why did you go to Magaluf? It's terrible. Uh, I was about 21. Oh, actually, that's a point. I was your age, actually. Did yeah. you go on lads' holidays? <sighs> no, I've never been too, on a lads' holiday in my life. Too peasant for you. Mm. Kavos, you should go Kavos if you... Ca definitely not, mate. He's richer what? than that. Costs 400 no, quid, fence for a week. That okay. is, so, what is, going on that is incredibly cheap. Yeah, it's incredible. 400 quid. Bargain. Yeah, that's good. How, how, okay, right. Just want you to do the shot. It's, I just really it's want so it. like green and French. I it like is it. green and French. Is it like, French? Is absinthe yeah, French? Yeah, yeah. How do you know that? Absinthe. That's absinthe. what they call it in French. Like an idiot. He just knows everything, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Yeah! He's yeah! Got I That's love that. <laughs> Watch it on YouTube. Watch that reaction on YouTube. Sort of like, <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, was that bad? Bro. Really? Oh my god! You're gonna be way. Why? What was bad about that? I feel so alive. <laughs> <laughs> what describe it? What was that? Oh, you know, like getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> was it really that bad? It feels like Big John's just landed a haymaker <laughs> right in the fucking snout. Because I was thinking I you're gonna not gonna make yeah. a face. I was thinking he's gonna try and not make a face. Here. Bro, he's just absolutely. Just have a bit and try not to have any reaction. Go on, Carl. All right, I'll try. Something. I'm not. It's uh, all the only a little bit. Though. All the flavour of Listerine with all the booze of hand sanitizer. Does it at least taste nice flavour? Oh, wow, really no, nice really flavour. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try a tiny bit because I'm not. Fuck me. Lose, so. Jack, this, this ride home is going to be interesting. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I've got some, yeah. Yeah. Get that, get that up. Jesus. Yeah. Right, we go. Come on, you schlag. Like the video for this. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. 
that. Yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Have some, Jack. I can't do that. I'm just I'm driving. Tiny. He is driving. That little, just taste that yeah, little, little drop. Yeah, little taste. Okay. okay, that's a tiny. Oh. Okay. If the police are watching, that's all I'm having, all right? I'm still under <laughs> the limit. That is vile. Fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty strong. That is vile. Genuinely, yeah. mate. When you I, I had a, little, a big shot of yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah. had about double me then. Yeah. Oh my, I can still feel the heat. Can you hear? Oh yeah. You the heat? Yeah. Mate, if you had a shot, trust me, trust me, it's way, way worse. Once, when you once I had this, once I had this curry, oh, that God. I knew it was going to be hot because we walked into this place oh, and, the, and I ordered it and the waitress looked at me and he said, because I'm white. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So she was like, are you sure? <laughs> was it Vindaloo or something? No, no, it was, it was beyond. Oh, it was beyond, beyond, that. beyond that. So they, they had a nuclear range of curries and I, seven, seven curries and I ordered number two, right? What? In the nuclear range. Oh, in the nuclear range. Yeah. Got you. And, and she was, she was looking at white boy being like, <laughs> oh, not sure about this one, white boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where was she from? Singaporean. Okay. And it's like, you can handle this one. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good accent because you lived there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. But I had to man up. Yeah. To get it up. Honestly, it? honestly, I ate that curry and I felt it travel through every part of my digestive system over the course of three days. Oh, fuck that. Do you I, when, I, it, when, it, when, it, when it went down, it just burnt my esophagus and all of that. And then it, sat, it sat in my stomach for two days, just burning and burning and burning. And then when it came out, it was like just a pure, it was like shitting red hot needles. Fuck. I don't get yeah. why people eat spicy food. I love it. It, it, but what, it, I, I, feel, it well, I, I just feel That's the need it. to prove that I'm yeah. better than other people. Yeah, but do you actually yeah. like the spiciness? I do yeah. to an extent. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Extra yeah. hot in Nando's is nice. I don't like, yeah, but that's like, oh, hot. but well, those things that are like so spicy, you just don't enjoy when, it. Yeah. When, when I went to, when I moved to Singapore, I started eating that shit, like really spicy shit for lunch every day. And now I think it's just burned off the taste buds because now if I have an extra hot Nando's, I need to have, put that extra, extra hot shit on it. Just to have yeah. a bit of taste. I feel like I've, I've gone too far. <laughs> Mate, you, I could feel like, it's like cold in my belly. Like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm sort of with you there. I'm feeling a bit nauseous. Like was it weird... going up your nose when you were drinking? The sinuses were very much yeah. active, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, that is the worst drink. I've... It's but worse than like Ray and Nephew's shit. That. You think that? Yeah. Ray and Nephew's is more than that, isn't it? Six yeah, nine. it is. That's, yeah. that's a pretty weak for an absinthe. They get up yeah, to sort of 80, 90, 85, yeah. 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 But yeah. that's like pure alcohol. That would yeah. kill you. Yeah. It, it's, it's spiritus, like... spiritus is the big shit. That's the, I reckon... Polish, the Polish spirit, Spiritus. Oh, fuck. 90, 97. Jesus. Who's eating that? That's like hand sanitizer. You just put, you just need a drop. I'm never doing that ever. Yeah. Well, but, isn't absinthe, just quickly, isn't absinthe <coughs> like, was it illegal? No, that's moonshine. Oh, moonshine, yeah. Moonshine's illegal, yeah. Moonshine, moonshine yeah. Back in, Indo back in Indo. Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah, like you would, if you drive past any old place, they have the little warungs, like the little shops mm, that are in a yeah. shack on the side of the road and they brew their home shit. Okay, but, yeah, but we, we actually had a, a whole lesson in school that was just telling us like don't drink that shit because you <laughs> might go blind oh yeah it that does blind you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that, yeah you can go and get those like it's like moonshine in those clear like water bottles right yeah and it's just like the most thing is shit. when we start drinking in Indonesia in Indonesia you can go into a uh, pub and buy a beer in your school uniform like it's absolutely fine really? they're, they're just happy to get a sale man. do you know in yeah. Philippines you know this the legal age of consent is 12. Okay, not really what I was talking is about. Is that but. relevant? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. No. Um, so basically, we would, we would go... The joke, no point saying a joke about it. Carry on. After school, you could go and you could buy a bottle of vodka for three quid. Three quid? Yeah. That's mad. And, and we, I'm absolutely sure it was methanol, like that homebrew shit. So what actually, how does that alcohol work? Like why is one, why does a drink just make you go mental? I'll tell you why. If you don't, if you don't filter it, if you don't filter it nah, properly. What it is, I went to a whiskey brewery, right? Yeah. What they do, alcohol <coughs> is absolutely completely na like natural, right? So what you do, they get barley. Yeah, yeah, for whiskey. Oh, it's unreal. It was really Yeah, but stuff like vodka's processed, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. But, but it's, you, it's you, like filtered. But it is a natural. It's natural It's a shit. biological process fermentation. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it ferments and then they like ferment it again and they like filter it and heat it up and get the, the, the alcohol vapor. Some shit like that, I can't remember, but it does that. And it's, and then it comes out filtered and you try it and it's whiskey. And, and the thing that flavors whiskey is the barrels it's put in. 
the wood that that's is put in, is. that's all it is that flavors whiskey. The barrels they put it in is what flavors the whiskey. And you could do like oak barrels or maple barrels and it flavors it differently. So if you put like a plastic barrel, it would taste like plastic. Probably, yeah. You, you'd die, yeah. Mad. Yeah, but what I'm saying is how does it, how does you drinking that make you just turn weird? Yeah. What is Elephants the process? Elephants do it for, with trees. Are you, are you talking about how, basically essentially how, how do drugs work? Yeah. Is what you're asking. <laughs> Yeah. To which I would say, I don't know, but I fucking love them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what? why does some drugs like <coughs> make, yeah. make you go like mental? Some of like, them make you see you, shit. What's the difference between getting drunk and getting high and getting... Yeah. yeah. Well, and Ketty, also, Ketty and MD. Ketty. I wouldn't yeah. know the difference. But, but also, what I don't I don't, I don't, I don't do enough drugs to... If no. you... Well, if you do like hallucinogenics... Right. That stuff you're seeing, what if that's real? It's not. And, real. and we've just got the filter on. Yeah, like bees... Bees see fucking well, way you know, more you know, apparent, Apparently the biggest like drug experience that you can have, right, is getting addicted to heroin, mm. massively addicted, and then just going cold turkey. And apparently yeah. like, you're so high from not taking anything. Really? Because oh. it, basically the real world comes back to you. Yeah. And you're like, holy Sucks. fuck, what's going on? And then you, you actually will just either die, throw up, that's how, if you just go yeah. totally off, off, that is the most brutal high you can ever have is going I, off heroin. I would do... Probably. Do not do that. One little drop no, of heroin. No, oh, that's fucking mental. Because no, well, when, I'm not so going to get when, addicted to that. I'm like, I'll just do it. I'm like, oh, wow. When, when I'm on my last legs, you know, when I'm on my yeah. deathbed, yeah, that's different. I'm, I'm going to get them to load me into a chopper. If you know you're going <laughs> to die. And then, and then I'll mainline some heroin and yeah. then I'll skydive into a volcano. <laughs> mainline. And that would be, be fucking sick. sick. Oh. Yeah, man, that's. I feel like if we, if we know we're going to die, we should do something proper sick. Yeah, heroin. Let's do it. Yeah, but like. I want to have a gay experience as well. Yeah. Why? Well, just to get it, just to know get that, it I've, done. Know done that it. I've done it. Like, I, it doesn't really appeal to me, but if I do it on my deathbed, then it's sort of a, you know. Do you know if you sure. stare at someone's eyes for 10 minutes or longer, you have a, a trip like you're on heroin? <coughs> really? Yeah. That actually makes sense. I've never done that. Or in the mirror and, and you start like seeing things like. Oh, you can't break you. the eye contact. Yeah, to be honest, I, have... I've, I've seen things just from standing up a bit too quickly. So yeah. I can only imagine what 10 minutes of staring will do to you. Eight. Have you done MD before? No. Cat? No. Cocaine? No. That's a lie. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to end I've, it there. I've only, I've only done the drugs which are commercially available in Amsterdam. Paracetamol. Oh, I love paracetamol. DMT. <laughs> I'm on a 40 a day paracetamol. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done DMT? What's that? That methyl trip to me. Boosh. Is that lean? Is that like drinking No, popcorn? that's not lean. Not DMX. He, don't know. DMX. he, he doesn't no, know. That's a rapper. Yeah, he's not. DXM lean. is what I'm looking for. Oh. DXM is lean. Lean is cough syrup. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> that is the end of the episode. Rufus Rice, do you want to plug anything? Plug your Congratulations stuff. for coming on. Um, I wish I had something to plug. <laughs> Congratulations for coming on. <laughs> plug, uh, plug your TikTok, I suppose. Well, yeah. Hi, I'm Rufus Rice. I'm 21 years old. I'm, you know, I will be inheriting quite a lot of money <laughs> in the next, in the coming decades. <laughs> so if you're, if you're like an absolute bundelengers, like worldy supermodel, 10 out of 10, there aren't watching this. None of them. Um, who you, who would you want, like TikTok wise, a Bundelengas? Which one would you? Oh, want? any. I, yeah, I can have yeah, any no, TikToker. Yeah, yeah. yeah Girl wise, who's the oh, fittest one? Interesting. Crystal Wright. You know <laughs> yeah. Come on, you're, who you're, else? A fan, you're a big fan of Crystal Wright. She's she's quite good. Too. Yeah, she's all right. She's quite good. Um, I my TikTok crush is Grace Beverly. Do you know who that is? No, no. She's this like girl boss TikToker. Like she she's like a girl entrepreneur. And then she, she talks about her successful businesses and it just gets me bricked up. Uh, okay, say this to Grace Beverly down the camera. She has a boyfriend. I've, just looking at one picture of a boyfriend, I know he's got an absolute hammer on him. So there's no way, as a member of media, but Willie does Gang, his parents own a ski resort? No, he but doesn't, mine don't either. He doesn't either. Oh, yeah. He's lying. Oh, yeah. Remember? Do they own a travel? He doesn't know what they own. He's got a big cock and that's all that matters. He's big okay. black cock. All right. Big black, big cock. I can't compete with that. I think it's probably at least twice as long. Just say bye. <laughs> Just say bye to the people and we'll cut it off. <laughs> Goodbye to everybody, all the Vogue supermodels out there. And uh, yeah, at Rufus Daily on TikTok. There we go. Just go over there and you can frig yourself silly watching my content. <laughs> like right now. Comment and subscribe. Love Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>